The Huskies are back at home again in DeKalb, taking on Miami this week, as they are coming off of a 34-14 win against the Bowling Green Falcons last weekend, and that win would propel the Huskies from number 15 to number 10 in the country. We were currently on an 8-game winning streak and sat atop of the MAC Conference just above Ball State, and that was thanks in part to our great defense so far this year, as we had many players nominated for national awards this season, and hopefully they'd be walking away with some of them at the end of the year. You you wouldn't have guessed that our defense was that good on paper though with the Huskies allowing the most yards this season in the entire MAC conference. But the name of the game was turnovers as the Huskies defense has forced 25 of them this season with 23 coming from interceptions. Hopefully the defense continues to force those turnovers today as they are back at home taking on Miami and look to make it 9 wins in a row. The Huskies would kick off to start today, Jake Siebert had it teed up and we were underway as this would go into to the back of the end zone and that is where Henry Henson in the Red Hawks offense would start. Miami looking to be bowl eligible this season. They're currently sitting at four and six. They need two more wins on the season to get to a bowl game. One of those wins would have to be against the Huskies here in DeKalb today so we'll see if they can do it. The Huskies themselves looking to maintain their top 10 ranking and try to hold on to an at-large bid to find themselves in the playoffs as that pass was almost intercepted on third downs so that would bring out Tremaine Gums. He would pump the ball away here for the Red Hawks, and we are going to get a chance to see the Huskies offense led by senior redshirt quarterback Ethan Hampton. The senior offensive leader coming off of almost a perfect game last week against Bowling Green as he's going to start it off with a handoff to Jalen Poe up the left side. That's going to be a pickup of 20 on the very first play of the game for the Huskies. Hampton now back to throw for the first time today. Connects left side, finding his senior receiver receiver Kenji Lewis for a nine yard pickup bringing up now a second and one they're going with the jet sweep back to Kenji Lewis he has the corner and more down to the 30. The Huskies already moving the ball quickly and deeply into Red Hawks territory as it's going to be play action Hampton in the pocket lofting this one up left side that's completed to Kevin Shaughnessy they're going to mark the true freshman just short of the goal line first and goal to go from the one yard line Shaughnessy in motion here it's going to be a handoff to Justin Lynch who fights his way into the end zone the Huskies strike first as they get on the board with the help of the senior halfback a quick start for the Huskies offense the Red Hawks now gonna see if they can match that here on their second possession Hessen back to throw he's gonna be dropped for a loss on that one a long second and 17 now out of the pistol formation Hessen back to throw he's going that's gonna be completed to Connor Briggs his tight end for a first down all the way down past midfield into Husky territory after that one play as they're gonna set up a quick screen here going nowhere knocked incomplete before Javon Tracy even had a chance to do anything with it is it's going to be a handoff first of the day. Jordan Brunson, the senior halfback for the Red Hawks, not picking up much on that one as this is going to be a third and seven. Hessen back to throw. That's completed. The football's out. Loose on the ground and the Huskies recover it. We were just talking about their turnovers in pregame and on the second drive, they force one. This defense has been a force to reckon with so far this season for the Huskies as that's going to be their 26th takeaway of the season. And now the Huskies have a chance to go up two possessions on this drive here in the first quarter as it's going to be a handoff to Poe met in the backfield he's going for a loss of two on that one bringing up now a third and nine Hampton back to throw he's going to dump it off to his check down and that's a first great pocket presence there from the senior staying cool and collected as they're going back to the ground game to Jalen Poe who slips a few tackles and some extra yards there he would end up picking up seven as they're into Red Hawk territory going back to Justin Lynch and the senior going backwards on that one bringing up now a third and four empty back Backfield Hampton back the throw. He's scanning. He's going to step up, take it in himself, sliding forward for the first. And this drive stays alive for the Huskies as they're down to the 34 yard line. That first down run going nowhere. Second and 10. They're going back to Kenji Lewis on the wide receiver sweep, who picks up about eight. A much more manageable third and one here for the Huskies as they're going back to Lynch up the middle. He has the first down. And the Huskies continue to dink and dunk their way down the field here through the ground game as now Hampton takes a shot. Not enough air under that one as it would be knocked incomplete he's taken to the air again flushed out of the pocket rolling left here he's looking he's gonna take it himself senior quarterback picking up seven on his legs on that one bringing up a third and three from the 14 it's gonna be a halfback snap to Jalen Poe who finds his way into the end zone 
virtually untouched. What a play. The Huskies go up two possessions here. You don't see direct snaps too often, and the Huskies pulled that one off to perfection as Jalen Poe not even touched until he gets into the end zone. So the number 10 Huskies will lead 14 to nothing here under a minute to go in the first quarter. Hessen back to throw. He's going to set up the halfback screen. Absolutely no time on that one though as he would just have to throw it away. Another long third down for the Red Hawks. Pressure coming. He has to throw this one away again. And the Huskies get another defensive stop and they'll get the ball back here. 30 seconds to go in the first quarter. The ground game has been working great for them and that's been allowing them to set up play action like this but Hampton is hit. He's going to put the football on the ground and Miami is going to recover. There is the first mistake of the day for the Huskies. And so Miami with the takeaway gets their best field position of the day from the NIU 26. It's going to be a handoff here to Jordan Brunson who's going to pick up just a couple. If even that as they mark him back at the original line of scrimmage and that will bring us to the end of the first quarter. Besides the one fumble... Huskies dominating on all sides of the ball. One down, three to go here to Kelb. Miami hoping to capitalize on that Huskies turnover as we start the second quarter here. Second and ten. And in motion out of the backfield. Pump fake from Hessen. He's going across the middle. That's completed to Cameron Perry inside the five. First and goal to go for the Red Hawks from the four. Is it's going to be a RPO. And that's going to be a touchdown. But there is a flag on the play. Hold it. So that touchdown would be negated in the Red Hawks. Backed up 10 yards to the 13. First in goal yet again for them. As Hessen back to throw. Pressure coming. He gets it off down to the one yard line. And they get all the penalty yardage right back with that one play. Second and goal from the one is all they need. He's going backwards. Hessen dropped for a loss of four. Third and goal, NIU trying to get a stop, and they do. A nine-yard sack, as that will bring out Dominic Zoibin to kick a field goal for the Red Hawks. They get their first points on the day. And now the NIU offense comes back out, looking to respond from that turnover last drive, as they're going to start with a handoff to Jalen Poe. He's only picking up two yards on that carry. Second and eight, halfback draw going right back to the sophomore back. Only picking up three on that one, third and five, looking to get this conversion. Tight throw there from Hampton. As he would connect with Keyshawn Pipkin for the first down. This drive stays alive. They're going back to the ground game to Jalen Poe. Not much happening on that play. Hampton now under center man in motion. It's going to be a wide receiver sweep to the right side. Kenji Lewis past the 50 and has the first down. And IU now inside Miami territory on this drive. Hoping to get some points back against the Red Hawks here. Second and eight under three and a half minutes to go in the half play action. Hampton. Rolling out to his right. He's just going to dump this off to Jake Applegate for a few. Making this a very manageable third down and one as they're going back to the ground game to Jalen Poe. Slipping a couple tackles. Finally met by a swarm of white jerseys there, but not until after the sophomore picks up the first down to the 33-yard line of Miami. Going right back to him again. The sophomore definitely has been the workhorse for this Huskies offense so far in the first half. Only picking up one on that carry, though. Lynch in the game. In motion to the right side. Third and six, empty backfield for Hampton. As he's dropping back to throw, bad snap. Handles it just fine, though, as he connects with Jake Applegate. The senior tight end down to the 16-yard line. Picks up the first down. This might be the last play here before the two-minute timeout. Huskies only picking up one on that. A quick break here, and they're right back at it. Second and nine from the 15. Hampton stepping up. He's hit, though, immediately. The senior quarterback still manages to pick up three yards on that short carry, though. Third and six back to throw. He's going across the middle. That's completed for a touchdown in traffic. Kenji Lewis holds on to that one and the Huskies go up 21 to 6. A minute 40 here left in the first half as Miami takes back over. Down by 18. Hessen back to throw. That's going to be completed left side. Javon Tracy with the big reception down to the 41 yard line. But the Huskies D line coming up with a sack on the very next play. Setting up a second and 17 as this is dumped out of the backfield. Jordan Brunson only picking up four yards on that. They now have a long third and 13. 
13, Hessen back to throw and it's gonna be completed for a first. The Red Hawks trying their best to get down the field and get some points before halftime. Down 18, under a minute to go. That's gonna be intercepted by Jacob Finley of the NIU defense. Back into Miami territory, a big play for the Huskies as they're gonna get a defensive stop here before halftime. The second takeaway of the day, it's supposed to be a quick slant route to Javon Tracy, but Finley jumps that expertly. Red Henry Hessen's eyes the entire way. He signaled exactly who he wanted that ball to go to. And that gives the Huskies a chance to extend this lead even further, but now Ethan Hampton is gonna be picked off. It's Jackson Ponds for the Red Hawks defense getting the ball right back for them. And this seemed to be some miscommunication on this play. As you can see, Jake Applegate cut up halfway through his route. If he stayed on what seemed to be his original route, I think that would have been completed, but instead it's an interception. Second turnover of the day for Ethan Hampton, but really hard to place the blame on that one for any one individual as the Red Hawks take over here. They have another chance to get down the field with 32 seconds remaining here, hoping to get a touchdown and close this lead NIU has over them. They will use their last timeout though there, so with 27 seconds left, no timeouts remaining. It's not looking likely for the Red Hawks as they swing this one in the backfield. That's going for a loss of four. Clock is still running. Third and seven. Hessen back to throw. He's going to throw this one away. So Tremaine Gums will come out and punt this one away for the Red Hawks as the Huskies, despite the turnover, are going to get another defensive stop here against the Red Hawks before halftime. We'll see if the Huskies even run a play here as it looks like they're going to come out and hand the ball off. That's exactly what they're going to do, giving it to Jalen Poe. And that will bring us to the end of the first quarter as the Huskies lead here in DeKalb. 21-3 over the Red Hawks. Jalen Poe has been the workhorse for the Huskies offense today with 77 yards and one touchdown on 16 attempts in the first half. We've seen some great action from the senior Justin Lynch as well, but thanks to this run game, it's all NIU with two down and two to go here in DeKalb. NIU would get the ball to start the second half as they're up by 18, looking to score on this opening possession as they'd give it off to Poe. He'd get things started off for the Huskies with a 14-yard run as Hampton and back to throw. He's going to check it down to Keyshawn Pipkin. Picking up nine yards on that reception. Second and one now from the 41 as they're going back to the ground game. Jalen Poe met immediately at the line. First third down of the half here for the Huskies. See if they can convert and it doesn't look like they will. But the offense is going to stay on the field here. Coach Brooks wanting to make a statement as they will easily pick this one up. And this drive stays alive for the Huskies as they convert that fourth down and they're going right back to the ground game with Poe. The sophomore back picking up four yards on that play. They're sticking with him. He has some room, has the corner. A nice block there along the right side. Down to the 29 yard line of Miami. There's that first big run the Huskies were looking for here in the second half is Hampton now. That's knocked incomplete. Intended for his tight end Jake Applegate who could not hold on to that one in coverage. Third down yet again here for the Huskies as they're going to go pitch right to Jalen Poe. Trying to get the edge. They cannot hold the blocks. Just a yard short so Jake Siebert would come in to knock down this field goal from 46 yards out. It would be good. And the Huskies would make this a three possession game now. 24 to 21 they lead as Henry Hessen and the offense for the Red Hawks come back out. First possession of the second half in that first play is going for a loss of two on the handoff to Jordan Brunson. Hessen back to throw. That's going to be completed right side. First and 10. Fresh set of downs off to a much better start than they did in the first quarter. Left side. Dangerous pass there as that was an interception on that same exact play in the second quarter. Going now RPO to the right side. That's going to be completed to Connor Briggs. And this offensive drive already looking much much better for the Red Hawks than any of their drives in the first half did is on the read option. Henry Hessen keep it into himself. Going to be marked just short of the first down marker. Second and one as it's going to be a handoff. Jordan Brunson, he would get that yard and maybe one more needed for the first. Fresh set of downs from their own 45. Quick screen to the left. And I used secondary all over that one, though. Sniffed it out from the very start. Second and 11 now. Hessen back to throw. Pressure coming. He's hit and dropped. A loss of nine on the play. A huge sack there for the Huskies defense. They've been bringing the pressure all day. 
Third and 20 now, Hessen, he's launching this one up deep down the right side, and that's gonna be intercepted by Andre Cobb. The third takeaway of the day for the Huskies defense. We were talking pregame about how amazing this defense has been with its takeaways for NIU so far here in season number two. And it's kind of ironic because that was the biggest question surrounding this Huskies team headed into the second season under Coach Brooks. Most of his starting defense his first year winning the MAC championship was all seniors. And so they were wondering how the defense would look this year. A very young core with few returning starters, but they have proven to be a very solid defensive unit and have not missed a beat this season. That takeaway would give NIU a chance to extend this lead even more here in the third quarter as we have under a minute to go. Hampton flushed out of the pocket to the left. He's going to take it himself. He would slide down and be marked just short of the first down marker, second and inches here. Back to throw again. He's looking. He's feeling the pressure, rolling out to his right. He has some room to run. He's taking it himself inside the 10-yard line. Hit, and he puts the football on the ground, and the Red Hawks defense is going to recover it again. The second fumble of the day for Ethan Hampton, and the second fumble recovered by the Red Hawks defense. The senior quarterback has been up and down in his performance regarding turnovers this year. Some games, he'll go zero turnovers and protect the ball great, but then the very next week, he could turn around and be looking like prime Jameis Winston as he'll be turning the ball over both through the air and the ground as Miami will pick up the first down here but that would bring us to the end of the third quarter not much has changed here a slow quarter but NIU slowly extending the lead 24 to 3 over Miami the chances for the Red Hawks making a comeback in this one were looking slim to none as they were down 24 to 3 here at the start of the fourth quarter They'd pick up six on that quick little dump off from Hessen second and four now dropping back through as the senior crossed the middle again to his tight end Briggs would be just short of the first down marker though so third in inches as it's empty backfield Hessen back to throw he's taking a shot that's knocked incomplete and not much else they can do here but go for it fourth in inches you'd think the Red Hawks would be able to pick up less than a yard but the way their offense has been going today they won't be able to do it Huskies swarm Hessen on the read option and they will take over on turnover on downs and right away Ethan Hampton connecting with Kevin Shaughnessy to get them down to the 10 yard line handoff now Jalen Poe up the middle down to the one second angle to go for the Huskies Hampton in the shotgun Poe to his right man in motion it's Keyshawn Pipkin who gets the wide receiver pitch and he trots into the end zone completely untouched and NIU is going to extend their lead over Miami here in the fourth 31 to 3 now as the Red Hawks haven't even got a touchdown on the board yet today and that's going to be an interception by Jacob Finley the fourth takeaway of the day third interception for Henry Hessen and the offense. And this is just turning into an embarrassment at this point for the Red Hawks as they have got nothing going on offense all day. And like we talked about in the pregame, the Huskies defense has absolutely dominated them with turnovers as they're looking to just run the clock out here in this drive. They are going to be relying a lot here on Jalen Poe and Justin Lynch to see if they can ice this game in the final possession as they go back to the sophomore back. Second and six, Lynch in the game in the backfield now for the Huskies. Applegate in motion. They're giving it off to Lynch, who's short of the first down. So we might see Hampton pass here. Third and five. He will indeed, as he's going to overshoot his target on the left side. So Jake Siebert comes out for another 46-yard attempt, and this one is just going to be barely left. No good for the senior kicker. And so that turnover from the Red Hawks results in zero points for the Huskies, and maybe slightly less embarrassment for them here on the road. That would bring us to the two-minute timeout. Not a lot of time left here to go down to 31 to 3 as they cross midfield that pass completed to Cameron Perry for a big gain down to the 42 of the Huskies Hessen back to throw. He's going to dump it off to his halfback out of the backfield. That's going to bring up a manageable second and two. Empty backfield. Hessen back to throw. Left side. That's completed to Connor Briggs. The senior tight end getting it down inside the 15. They're looking to score their first touchdown of the day here. Going right back to his senior tight end. Not picking up a lot though. Under a minute and a half to go as they're going across the middle again. Third and five to go. Bringing in the double eye tight formation. Hessen play action. Just short 
short of the end zone, but it is a first down as he's dropping back to throw. Hit immediately. A loss of nine on that play. Hessen back to throw. Looking left side. He's going to find Joshua Ringer. And the freshman halfback gets in the end zone for the first time today for the Red Hawks. Much too little too late though for Miami as 37 seconds left to go. Even with three timeouts, there's nothing they can do as NIU will run run last play here. And they would come out in victory formation and the clock would hit triple zeros. They wouldn't even have to take a knee as NIU is going to make it nine straight victories on the year as they walk away with a home victory 31 to 10 over Miami. Another great showing from Ethan Hampton in the offense, but specifically from Jalen Poe, 190 yards on 29 attempts and one touchdown for the sophomore back. Another up and down day though for Ethan Hampton as there were times he looked good through the air, but turnovers were a problem as he had an interception and two fumbles on the day. But nonetheless, this team held on to get a very dominant victory thanks in part to the four turnovers they forced today bringing the season total up to 29. Jake Gassaway would get named Mac Defensive Player of the Week for his performance that week against Miami and we also had three-star Malik Cobb in attendance as well to see us beat the Red Hawks and while we didn't get him to sign he was very close to signing with us as well as three-star athlete Titus Gibbs but we hadn't been able to schedule him for a visit just yet. Despite that dominant win over Miami we somehow dropped from number 10 to 11 in the country and now we're missing out on the potential first round berth which went to Texas Tech who we defeated earlier in the season so if we wanted to make the playoffs we had to win this final regular season matchup against Toledo and it might be tough because they had a stacked wide receiver core on the offensive side of the ball but with a young sophomore quarterback starting for his first year for the Rockets hopefully our strong defense could take advantage of him as Toledo has definitely fallen off from the MAC championship appearance they had last season to a 4-7 and seven record so far this year. We can't let that record deceive us though as we know it is going to be a tough fight as we get ready to take on the Rockets next episode and fight our way into the college football playoffs here in season number two.